Hey everybody, welcome to PC Perspective. When Intel first released the Nook device back in December of 2012, we were all kind of taken aback of uh, this massive computing giant creating this tiny four inch by four inch platform that they called the Next Unit of Computing. We've seen a couple of different iterations since then, including a Haswell release late last year. And what we have today is actually a new, just a small update to that. This is the D54250 W Y-K-H. Did you get all that? The only thing new is the H on the end, which indicates that this is a device that now will hold a two and a half inch hard drive where all the previous models were limited to MSATA storage only. You can see here on our desk, we have uh, the original Nook sitting next to the updated H level hard drive capable Haswell based Nook and sitting next to that is the Gigabyte Bricks Pro. Now with those devices, uh, you can see that they, they scale in size, they also scale in performance. The Bricks Pro is using a higher end processor with integrated graphics, the Iris Pro graphics. The, uh, the new Nook with the hard drive capability in there is still using the Core i5-4250U processor um, that you'll find in the previous generation previous version of the Haswell Nook, um, Intel HD graphics, HD 5000 graphics. In terms of connectivity, you have uh, a pair of USB 3.0 ports on the front. You have a input-output combination audio connection as well. You have an IR receiver. On the back, you have a mini display port connection that is not Thunderbolt. You have a mini HDMI connection. You have gigabit ethernet and two additional USB 3.0 ports. Other than that, those all, all that specifications and all those connectivity options are very familiar. The real change is what you see on the inside. When you open up this Nook, which opens in the same way as the previous generation did, you'll find a new bracket inside, a new uh, capability to store a two and a half inch hard drive that actually takes advantage of that SATA power and SATA data connection that were kind of a mystery on the motherboard before. You still have access to an MSATA storage solution, an MPCIe for wireless connectivity. So with this, you can actually, you know, still use a, a maybe 120 gig MSATA drive for your primary operating system and then put a one terabyte, two and a half inch drive if you want. Or if you just want to use a lower cost option, you can use a two and a half inch SSD as well. Pricing on this starts at $399, but that is a DIY kit. That's not including all of your storage and memory. You're still going to have to buy uh, DDR3L low power SODEM memory. You're still going to have to buy some kind of storage connectivity, whether you go MSATA or two and a half inch uh, for that. And then wireless is obviously optional. So you're still looking at a $500 to six to $700 system build for the new Nook with the hard drive support. But it is really cool to be able to have a little bit more capability, a little bit more, uh, I guess, storage capacity in such a small, mini-sized computer.